Last week we talked about using Dragon Naturally Speaking to transcribe audio from various sources. And what I said I would do is run a live test to see if it works. Now I've done that, but I haven't recorded it. So what I'm going to do in a moment is record, as you see on the screen here now, the using the using lower thirds on Google Hangout video that I made last week, and I'm going to transcribe it as I hear the audio come. Now, one of the things I have to do is stop this video now and turn off input from this microphone so that you can hear the actual audio from the video while I'm transcribing into Dragon Naturally Speaking. I'll use the toolbar here with the Dragon Pad dictation box and I'll actually tran tran and I will actually transcribe live in real time and you'll be able to see the video and the transcription as it appears. Now the transcription will appear from me actually speaking now. It isn't coming from the audio of the video. What I'm doing is listening to the audio of the video and then repeating it into Dragon Naturally Speaking. But you'll see how well it works. Let's start now. I've done it, you know, I thought, oh, this is so easy. And I think people do this. I can remember doing this years ago when applying for jobs. Yeah. Um, you've got a particular specialist skill set that you don't know that the other person is quite interested in having on his team. Yeah. So, but you, because you know how easy it is, because you've done it over and over and over again, you devalue it. You, you think... Um, this other person will will see through me, um, will realise that what I'm doing isn't that clever. Yeah. But but it is, you know, if you spent years learning a particular skill, then it is incredibly valuable, no matter what it is. And and there must be, oh, I, I just can't I can't think at the moment. But there, there must be lots of people out there that are, are, are exact in that exact boat, whereby they've they've learned to do things. Uh, it it all becomes natural second nature to them, and it, it doesn't because it's so easy for them now. It it doesn't feel like a, a special skill. Well, like uh, driving a car is actually a special skill. Yes, it takes weeks and weeks to learn how to do it. Then you have to go through a test. Then you've got another couple of years really of, of actually embedding that that driving skill into you. We all take that for granted because so many people drive. Yeah. Um, but it's still a very special skill. Now, that, that's sort of a mass market skill, if you like, and that probably is devalued, although recently my, uh, one of my nieces has got a job, and um, one of the things that I asked her really liked, and one of the things they asked her was, um, can you drive? She said, no, but I'm having lessons, so good, we'll pay you some extra money to go and get your lessons sorted. Really, how fantastic. So it